Welcome to the demo day of Time to Raise. As you know, Time to Raise is an eight week long program that accelerates women led startups to investment, a program with full focus on fundraising. Out of over 170 applicants, we chose these startups that you will hear today to be part of the program. We have had 35 established investors and entrepreneurs as mentors, guiding them in their fundraising journey. And at the same time, we have connected our startups to different VCs and angels for investment opportunities. Our aim at Time to Race is to act as the bridge between amazing women-led startups and investors. Before you get to hear our amazing startup pitches, let's hear out what our partners have to say. And in the end of this session, we will open up for breakout rooms where you get to speak and ask questions to our startups. But first, over to our partners. Hi, my name is Ariane bouquet Posset, and I work for Invest.com, which is the investment promotion agency of the city, a wholly owned company and a subsidiary to Stockholm Business Region. So what we do at Invest.com is that we try to get more investors coming to Stockholm and also to get more headquartered companies to choose Stockholm as the place to be. And my job as working um, as a project manager with the tech startup scene is to try to make this such an attractive place for investors to come. And I'm really happy for the thriving tech scene that we have, but I really also see that there are things to be done. So working in public private partnerships as the initiative Time to Race is really important to get more female entrepreneurs to the tech scene and also to show the world how many fantastic female funded companies we have here in Stockholm. So therefore, I just want to say I'm so happy to be a part of this initiative and I look forward evolving the tech scene from my side together with all the fantastic people out there. Thank you so much. Innovation, creativity, ideas and the change they bring is necessary and we need to embrace it. There is so much that can and should be improved to make our lives better, to change the ways we consume, and to save our planet. And the fact that many great ideas do not get funded due to gender is something that we need to put a spotlight on and make a thing of the past. Just like we did with so many other practices that stood in our way for an equal and diverse society. My name is Jens Ingestet, and I'm glad to announce that the myth about the lack of Nordic female founders is false. In fact, we identified over 400 in the seed stage with strong majority female teams and great products. And you have a chance to meet many of them today. This is just the tip of the iceberg and we will see so many great female founders in the coming years. And I'm excited and confident that the funding gap will rapidly close. Please enjoy the pitches today. Hi, my name is Linda Jansdotter and I'm working within SCB at the Private Wealth Division. Since 1856, we have supported entrepreneurs in the community, made it possible for people to realize their dreams and their ambitions. We want to continue to do this, however, with more focus on female entrepreneurship. 
According to a survey conducted by Dagens Industri Digital in 2020, only 1% of venture capital went to companies founded by women. We hope to have an impact in society and change that trend soon. Both SAB as a bank and the Nordic region as a region have a lot to gain from giving more entrepreneurs the opportunity to grow and achieve their dreams. The fact that so few companies with female founders receive capital is something that limits the region's development. Therefore, it is important for us to be part of this and contribute with the great competence we have within SAB and among our clients. We want to give female entrepreneurs a good starting point to succeed with their startup. Give them the opportunity to connect with a committed advisor at SAB with the right skills. We hope to be able to feel a pride in a few years when the figures look different in society and we have come a long way in this development. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Anne-Claire Lobianco and I'm delighted to represent Microsoft for Startup for today, Time to Raise Demo Day. I'm here to give you an overview of what the Microsoft for Startup Founders Hub is. So through the Microsoft for Startup Founders Hub, founders have access to technology and tools that they need to build their product and to run their business. Founders have access to free Azure credits, Visual Studio Enterprise from GitHub Enterprise, as well as other tools such as Microsoft 365, Teams, Dynamics to help run their business. Microsoft for Startup Founders Hub will allow you to apply to our program via your LinkedIn profile and there are three step questions easy to apply. From cloud credits, mentors, events and workshops, we have the tool that you need to succeed. To learn more about Microsoft for Startup Founders Hub, I invite you to join our Startup Day, uh, which is an event run by the global team where you will be able to know more about Microsoft for Startup Founders Hub. Alternatively, you can directly apply through our website at startup.microsoft.com and everything is on the slide. So good luck to all for today and see you soon. Hi. My name is Daniel Isaacs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Circular. Circular is a market network for startups and investors to meet and build long-term relationships. Our market network is based on three core pillars. The network where people can meet, collaborate, and create meaningful communities. The marketplace where investors can invest in startups. And the workflow, a tool that allows our users to gain efficiency and insights in the entire investment process. We at Circular want to democratize the access to the best startups and investors so they can focus on growth rather than wasting time chasing meetings. We're grateful to partner with Time to Raise and get to know these fantastic founders in this program. Thank you. Now let's move on to what you all have been waiting for, the pitches. First out, we have the Swedish startup Tilly. Over to you, jenny Ann. I always knew that I wanted children one day. Most people do, right? Well, little did I know how long and challenging that road would be. As it turns out, I belong to the 15 to 20% of couples that need help to have a baby. This made me realize that there are gaps to be filled when it comes to support along the fertility journey. With busy doctors, an ocean of treatment types, and Dr. Google's giving you thousands of answers, it's easy to feel like I did, confused, out of control, and unsure what's the best next step for me. Also, fertility patients suffer the same stress levels as cancer patients, yet mental support is not an integrated part of treatments. So what do we do? The Tilly app is the first app to offer personalized support throughout the entire fertility journey. Check it out for yourself. We launched the first version of the app this summer on App Store, and we already have more than 1,000 users from over 40 countries. And with a great and passionate team in place, we are just getting started. Together, we have solid knowledge in product development, marketing, tech, and fertility medicine. We also have great investors and advisors on board with backgrounds from relevant companies such as Natural Cycles and Vitrolife. 
but also other fast-growing tech companies. We are now looking for partners who want to be part of revolutionizing fertility support worldwide, with a focused entry into the UK as our next step. Are you that partner? Then we would love for you to join our journey. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny Ann. Now we have Katarina from Tada Medical, who is in Sweden. I'm Katarina, co founder and CEO at Tada Medical. Our journey started at the Children Oncology Clinic to identify their unmet needs. All the children at this clinic will need several infusions. But no matter what the nurse does, there is always a risk for an accident where the tube is ripped out. When there is an accident, the patients get hurt, blood and medicine is spilled, and it takes a lot of effort for the already busy nurse. IV therapy is the most common invasive procedure, with 16 billion tubes used every year. The problem is that this procedure is not safe. 46% of the IV catheters fail due to mechanical complications like infiltrations and dislodgement. This leads to patient injury, loss of expensive medication and spill of toxic fluids. These accidents cost 28 billion euros. When the problem is that something breaks, the standard solution is to make it stronger. We did the opposite, we made it weaker. We have developed the breakaway connector relink, which is a weak link. When the tube is pulled, the connector splits into two parts. You can easily clean it and reconnect it again to rapidly reinstate therapy. Relink is a platform technology where each product is designed to deliver unique advantages to specific markets segments, such as gravitational IV, closed system device for toxic drugs, etc. Our primary route to market is through strategic partners and our revenue model is based on licensing out the IP. Working with partners, we aim to capture roughly 5% of that market by 2027. We have a highly competent and diverse team. We have 14 employees from nine different nationalities solving a global problem. Our network of partners span across universities and innovation centers. We are opening a bridge round of six and a half million kronas that will be used to prove market. For our A round later in 2022, one and a half million euros are already committed. Thank you. And next we have Carolina from Circulate in Sweden. I'm Carolina Lingmaneros, the founder and CEO of Circulate, a B2B marketplace and a sourcing platform for sustainable packaging. In Europe, we consume three times more than the world can provide us with. We need to cut consumption of resources and use them more efficiently. We're also facing a huge challenge with packaging waste. We know that we need to rethink packaging. So what's taking us so long? I took a job as a consultant in the packaging industry to find out that the current process to find, compare and implement better packaging is really time consuming, complex and lacks transparency, especially for smaller companies. This is due to a range of market failures. SMEs are struggling to buy packaging. They have low knowledge and engagement and with zero digitalization of supply, it is really hard to navigate. On the other side, we have traditional packaging providers that are unable to give buyers the guidance that they need due to really expensive traditional sales models. And they lack knowledge when it comes to sustainability. Is a fragmented local market with low internationalization. There are innovative sustainable packaging pro producers as well, however, but they fail to scale due to poor comm commercialization and limited product ranges. So let me introduce Circulate. Circulate is a sourcing platform with a B2B marketplace, simplifying the purchasing process for sustainable packaging and digitalizing the interaction between packaging providers and smaller buyers. Through our platforms, Vendors get a high-performing digital sales channel, reach entirely new markets and get access to analytics and forecasting so that they can successfully grow their businesses. Buyers get guidance to define and understand their own packaging needs, a digital sales process while also being able to track and improve environmental impact of their packaging consumption over time. The European green packaging market is huge and growing fast. 
driven by increased awareness and concern for packaging waste, digitalization and a lot of favorable upcoming regulations, uh, which forces companies to review the packaging whether they want it or not. We already have great traction with several buyers in different segments and great collaborations with uh, several vendors uh, of about 150 products on the platform. The business model is that we charge a commission from vendors and in addition we offer a range of value-added services to both buyers and vendors. We have a great team uh, with a winning combination of skills and experiences, both on the buyer and vendor sides, and very strong uh, commercial and technical expertise. This is reinforced by our investors uh, who are contributing not only with valuable experience, but also hands-on support. We raised 1.3 million euros pre-seed this summer and are looking to raise another uh, round, seed round uh, this summer, mid-2022. And we really hope that you want to join us on this very exciting and important journey. Great, Carolina. Now we have Heidi from Finnaprice in Denmark. We are Finnaprice and we help the next generation of impact retail investors put their money where their mouths are by providing impact information on publicly traded stocks. We're catering to a new generation of wealth that's entering the investment market. Millennials and Gen Z investors currently invest an average of 2,000 euros each month in new investments, but over 80% are frustrated not knowing how their investments are impacting society. Finaprise is the investment platform for ordinary people to create and measure true impact and build a better future through their investments. Our community of Finaprises are able to follow each other's impact investments, upvote, downvote community profile impacts, and also engage in community discussions. We have 300 investors who've downloaded the first version of our product, from over 80 countries, and we saw 60% of this group returning on a bi-weekly basis. And we expect to be live with trading in Q4 next year. There is a clear willingness to pay. Millennials and Gen Z investors who care about impact spent 2.2 billion euros in investment uh, fees and subscriptions, growing at 30% each year. And the EU taxonomy laws show that the time for ESG impact data is now. Our core team is made of full-time fintech professionals, our CTO, Goiko, has built mobile fintech apps before and led 60 developers in his past role as chief AI officer. Um, my co-founder, Gaia, is a marketing ninja and has built membership-based uh, communities that were profitable. And I'm an investment banker with transaction sizes of over $5 billion, uh, working in New York and San Francisco for fintech clients. So what we're looking for is strong investors focused on climate tech, consumer tech, and growth marketing. With your help, we can close the gap between ordinary people and the stock market. Money talks, so let's be loud. Let's stay in Denmark. We have another startup there. Isabel from Celogy. Did you know that every time that you brush your teeth, you may be sending hundreds of microplastic particles from the sink to the water system? Microplastics don't biodegrade, and therefore they accumulate in our natural environment. A recent study has pointed out that an average adult consumes 2,000 microplastic particles every single year. That's the equivalent of eating one credit card every week. At Senogy, we have created a solid and diverse team with the mission to prevent microplastics from becoming our next food ingredient. And this is how we do it. Synthetic chemicals are commonly used to optimize personal care products, but they aren't environmentally friendly and can be harmful. Consumers are demanding clean, natural products, which are less impactful to our planet and our health. We are Celogy, a sustainable biotechnology company inspired by nature. We present EcoFlexi, a clean alternative for personal care products, which can be tailored to your performance needs with our tunable platform technology. EcoFlexi is biocellulose, produced by the fermentation of sugar by bacteria. It has a low carbon footprint, is free of harsh chemicals and microplastics, biodegrades, and can be used, for example, as a rheological modifier and particle stabilizer, creating clean and safe products. Let's create more circular products together. For the last three years, 
we have established strong relationships with partners and customers in our value chain, with whom we work very closely to co-create products that are suited to their specific needs. We are currently at pre-pilot scale, running pilot projects with two customers. By 2023, we want to launch EcoFlexi into the market. And for that to happen, we are currently looking to raise a seed round of 3 million euros. Celugy has, has raised public and private funds uh, from institutions like Novo Nordisk by Innovation Institute, the European Commission Green Deal, as well as Sky Ocean Ventures. Our technology has been recognized 19 times by institutions worldwide, including National Geographic. We believe Ecoflexi and biotechnology have the power to solve one of the greatest issues of our era. And that's why we are here today to ask for your support. Thank you, Isabel. Now let's move on to Sweden. We have Tini from Hypertype. Hello, everyone. My name is Tini, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hypertype. Ten years ago, I was typing emails, and today I'm still typing, and not much has changed. There are 305 billion emails sent and received every single day. And even with today's tools like Smart Composing using GPT-3 and CRM system, there's still no tools in the market that help understand the context of your emails and personalize your information. Sales rep today also spend too much time figuring out what to reply to your customers. And this is both extremely frustrating and unproductive. With the recent advancement of natural language processing, we're at the forefront to solve this problem that can deliver high customer value, especially for cross-border communications in the new normal. Hypertype makes your business communications more efficient. It is a simple plug-and-play Chrome extension that automatically analyzes your email in your sales team for up to 110 languages and provide you with the information you need to write a personalized email at hyperspeed. We have already started testing our first prototype in our pilot companies to create a fantastic user experience and prepare for a public launch next year. We will not stop in sales or emails. Our vision is to open API and be integrated with other text-based communication tools, such as HubSpot, Slack, and analyze any text for users to get particular information within their platform. Our team is amazingly strong with production experiences in NLP technology and commercializing AI applications. We have the best team to build the next Tesla of communications. We have already secured our first proceed round with Ansler, Sting, and Angels, and now we're looking for investors to join our seed round. We also have a group of SaaS and tech experts as our angel investors, such as Gavagai, Apple, Microsoft, and Enright, who are already supporting us from this journey. Hypertypers, let us solve the next big thing for email pains together. Perfect, Tini. Now we have Anne from LoFi, a startup in Denmark. After 10 years in music research, two things stood out. One is that music is a force that connects us. And in a time of online distractions and loneliness, we need this more than ever. And two, is that artists need more ways to control and increase their income. Lo-Fi is a market network for music to get played and artists to get paid, where artists get access to more live gigs. Fans get to experience music in intimate and personalized settings, and artists and hosts get to build communities. In live music, ticketing alone is an 18 billion euro market. And in a post-COVID live music landscape, lo-fi is perfectly situated 
for that small, comfortable music experience. We believe in a fair and transparent music economy. And the lo-fi business model is built around the success of our community. Right now, we take a commission of 15% plus a small order fee with more revenue streams to come. Our passionate team has expertise in the music industry, community building, and data-driven marketing. We're supported by investors at the board of industry experts and executives. In the last three years, we have found scalability, come out of two lockdowns, guns blazing, and expanded to Sweden. And our community loves us. Retention numbers and reviews speak for themselves. We're looking to raise around for continued growth and to build out our community workflows. We want to build a global community, one that ultimately will change the way we think about live music. So come join us and let's music together. Now, a startup transforming scent. We have Sandra from No Ordinary Scent in Sweden. The global landscape of retail is rapidly changing. Differentiation has always been the key in attracting and keeping consumers. But strategies like price and unique selection aren't winning the game any longer. But differentiation is still possible, and that is through a strategy built in the DNA of market-dominating actors like Amazon and Sephora. The strategy is personalized experiences. I'm Sandra Kinmark, and I'm the CEO and founder of No Ordinary Scent. Our unique business model combines personalization, artificial intelligence, and scent to create this. We launched our first product 12 months ago, and it's a personalized scent co-created with our consumers. The consumer uploads three personal images onto our scent creator online. Our AI system detects what's in the images and match these contents with specific scent blends. The consumer then chooses a name for their perfume and a unique scent recipe is created. No ordinary scent produce and deliver these perfumes in the mailbox with a net profit margin of 76% and the users love it. The past 12 months, we've seen a monthly increase in orders above 60% per month. We launched No Ordinary Scent by collaborating with established brands. Together with them, we gained awareness in media and gained trust from consumers. And as a bonus, we also built these companies over 900,000 SEEK just this year. Through our AI system, we're constantly building on our proprietary data with the aim of selling this information as a white label solution to big players within the retail industry. We've already started conversations with market dominating actors like L'Oreal and LVMH. So we've proved product market fit in Scandinavia for no ordinary scent. And next step is market expansion in Europe. So join us on our mission to make the internet feel. And the Swedish startup Norbyte presented by Natalie. Norbyte upcycles plastic waste into healthy food solutions. We are solving two out of the biggest issues we are facing today, handling of plastic waste and providing with healthy food for all. Our solution is both inspired by nature and scientifically proven. It is based on one specific insect, the greater wax moth, and we have developed a scalable technology that enables the insects to digest more than 80% of commonly used plastics, which means that we handle mixtures, copolymers, and those last in waste streams where everything that can be recycled has been already taken out and the only destination of those last in waste streams would have been the incineration. 
and our method is way more sustainable. At the end of the transformation, we obtain high quality and nutritious products specifically designed for food, feed, and organic farming, covering with various aspects of healthy food production. We also benefit from a particularly interesting business model with two convergent revenue streams, handling of plastic waste and selling of healthy food products. Our technology is patented and we have good traction with our customers. Our next steps are scaling up and automatization of technology, co-development of the products with the early adapters, and development of the team. To achieve those milestones, we are currently raising a seed round of 2 million euros. Norbyte has developed a disruptive technology that enables a real breakthrough in our way of handling plastic waste and upcycling it into healthy food solutions. Let's do it together. And then another Swedish startup, Screen. Welcome, Ali. 20 years ago, I graduated from engineering school and have since then been part of building our fantastic digital society. But there is a backside. Children are being less and less physically active, and instead they spend a lot of time in front of screens. 85% of Swedish children are not meeting World Health Organization's recommendations for physical activity. And unfortunately, this problem is global. In schools, they also sit still most of the time, and this has negative effects on cognition and learning. Many schools try to activate the kids, but there are lack of tools to measure the results. Even though there are thousands of activity trackers in the market, there are no effective solutions for schools. Screen helps schools measure physical activity and gives them actionable data in one single dashboard. It's based on our activity tracker and a system for data collection and statistics. Screen can also be used to educate the children about World Health Organization's recommendations for physical activity. We have had fantastic traction over the last year with big orders from Academia the largest education company in the Nordics, and several big schools and municipalities. We also have an app for students and families that helps them balance screen time and physical activity. In addition, we have a product for healthcare, and it's based on the same technology. And we were selected as one of two vendors in one of the largest studies on children's health in Sweden. We have scientific evidence that our solution is creating impact. In a study with Karolinska Institute, we showed that students using screen increase their physical activity with 50% over a six-week period. We have a strong founders team with competence both from tech and business development. And we are currently self-financed from our revenues now, but we will raise capital to scale up the business. Screen's vision is a digital society where we all live actively and in balance with technology, where every child grows up healthy. And we now welcome investors that want to take part of our journey for children's health in our digital world. Thank you, Malin. Next up, we have Maria from Sweden presenting Viden. Infectious diseases kill over 9 million people every year, and more than 30% of all antibiotic prescriptions are suboptimal due to late or incorrect diagnosis. But the worst part is that the risk for coming pandemics and global antibiotic resistance is bigger than ever before. I'm Maria and I'm co-founder of Biden, and we're accelerating diagnostics. Because today's diagnostics is not enough. It requires transport of tests to centralized laboratories, and the average time from sample to test result is three days. With Viden, it's one hour. We enable both quick and accurate diagnostics at the point of care through a small automated device that performs sample preparation, analysis, and detection all in one. Simply put, it's like a lab, but in your hand. Our technology is suitable for all pathogens and also enables testing for different infections at the same time, with less risk of incorrect diagnosis compared to our competitors. This all started 
with the demand in healthcare and has been developed through an R&D collaboration funded with over 50 million Swedish crowns. And by now, we have a lab prototype with preclinical proof of concept and patent protection. Me and Petter have engineering and business development backgrounds. And on our team, we have five of the best researchers and inventors within nanotechnology and chemistry that have previous experience of bringing innovations to the market. We are currently raising our pre-seed round of 5 million Swedish crowns to enable pilot studies and product development for further validation. So please reach out if you want to join us in building the future of diagnostics to enable optimal treatment and prevent the spread of infections and antibiotic resistance. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. We're moving to Spark Sustainability, presented by Amanda in Finland. There is currently too much uncertainty for consumers who want to make a sustainable choice. 40% of green claims on European websites lack evidence. Most products and services that are marketed to us as sustainable do in fact not contribute to mitigating climate change. Spark Sustainability's data model calculates emission savings potential. So it shows consumers how much they can save by switching consumption to truly climate smart services and products. It also gives the business offering these services an upper hand by quantifying the positive climate impact that they have. We put the focus on the sectors that are undeniably better and we guide consumers through the jungle of greenwashing. Our customers are businesses within the circular economy, the sharing economy, clean energy and mobility, as well as plant-based foods. All of these sectors are growing at record speeds right now. Emission savings potential can be shown directly on a customer's web shop to improve conversion. And it is also shown in our app, Carbon Donut. Carbon Donut gives consumers tips on how to mitigate emissions, and it also shows them services and products that can help them do so. We help businesses communicate their positive climate impact, and we help them grow by marketing their products and services on our app, Carbon Donut. Our founders are experts in emission calculation, and our advisors have strong sustainability and digital business expertise. We converted 75% of pilot customers to paying customers in the app. And before the app was up and running, we did a mission calculation as a consultancy service. We also have quite a few interesting ongoing discussions at the moment. Our serviceable obtainable market in Europe is estimated at 2.2 billion euros currently. It is expected to grow by the double in the next five years. We aim to be a significant player in this field. We're currently raising our seed round and we would love for you to join our journey. My name's Amanda. Thank you for listening. Great, Amanda. And next up, we have Hanne from Vivius from Sweden. Hello, my name is Hanne Paulsson and this is Vivius, the future of safety alarms. Elderly and chronically ill people pays an unreasonable high price for safety in their everyday life. Their safety alarm should guarantee them a direct communication link with home care in the case of an emergency in their home. But more time than once has their safety alarm stopped working. Their safety alarm is a false safety and even had fatal outcomes. And I know this because I worked within elderly care during my studies as an industrial designer. And that's why we developed Vevios. Vevios solves the three biggest issues we have with the safety alarm today. Communication, ergonomics and design. Vevios is one simple bracelet that operates to work everywhere. It has a GPS and two-way communication directly through the bracelet, so the user can feel safe and calm everywhere. Vevios is simple and clean and synthetic, and thanks to this we can reach out to new vulnerable user groups in need of safety and security. Vevios has a new patented panic grip which prevents false alarms. The market is huge. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the issues we have with the ever-growing elderly population of the world today. In Sweden, 20% of our population is above 65 years old. And in Europe, it will increase until 2050 with 65 year old, that is, with 77%. 
and the very much elderly above 80 years old will increase by 175 percent we will have two younger people working on every five uh, elderly people this is a this is an equation that doesn't add up our go-to-market strategy is to cooperate with distributors who already made this journey in order to reach the biggest market possible as fast as possible and that way we will break even in three years right now we're testing our latest prototypes and these will launch on the market within the next year today we're looking for investment of 1 million euro this is in order to start production and industrialization within the next year we have a very strong experienced team that has 35 years of experience working uh, within technology and electronics and a board that has huge experience working within medtech. Thank you for listening to me today and join us on the journey to create a safer everyday life for everyone. Perfect. Let's move over to Norway. We have Anais from Paguro. As a business, getting a space for your activity is usually key to developing it, whether you be launching, testing a market or scaling. But what reframes it is the lack of flexibility of some property owners who expect three, five, ten years contracts with big deposits. However, these conservative rules are changing, definitely influenced by the pandemic. Now, some property owners are saying a little income is better than no income, especially if I have almost nothing to do with this process. This is where Paguro opens a new market around space filling and space optimization. We are a tool which enables businesses to find the right commercial space with flexible rental terms and facilitating the decision process on their own side. Everybody saves time and feels interest, as we are liable, own the contract and guarantee the safe and on-time transactions. Here is our team. We are two co-founders, Benjamin, who built the platform entirely in parallel with his studies, myself, a serial entrepreneur with a background as project manager in the events industry, and Helena and Pierre, who joined us since we launched our MVP. We also have an advisory board with key talents. We do monthly workshops on the specific topics we encounter along our journey. We want to fundraise because in order to scale, we need to strengthen the team, the technology, and communicate on our product. We would also benefit a lot from an industrial partnership to equal spaces, as we have new tenants signing up every day on our platform. Thank you. Thank you, Anais. And now we have Vera from Worki in Denmark. Hi, my name is Vera. I am the founder of Worki. We are the most popular service job marketplace here in Denmark, and we are now raising funds to launch in Sweden. Weke is hyper-focused on industries like horeca, retail, delivery and cleaning and we are addressing their biggest problem. Every year, 70% of their employees change jobs and now, after the lockdown is over, the understaffing problem goes from bad to worse. Completely hopeless, as Berlinski wrote. It's unbelievable how companies still hire now. Very often, it looks like this. That's why we built Wake. The super easy marketplace where companies can post their jobs in a matter of minutes and chat to candidates directly and immediately. From job seekers' side, the Wake app shows jobs around them. Right now, Wake is used by 22,000 candidates and 1,800 companies here in Denmark, including many big names. Why we became so popular and outperformed competitors? First and foremost, we are really easy and fast app. On average, companies get 30 candidates in just 24 hours. Then, we are the only marketplace that is focused only on so-called casual jobs in shops, restaurants, delivery and cleaning. And what's the most important is our own database of active, local and skilled candidates. We are now raising funds to expand to Sweden 
and then to Germany, Netherlands, Norway and Finland. Our, our product is already, our go-to-market strategies are proven and the revenue is predictable. Thanks to the team that has been working together from 7 to 15 years. So for us it's not a question of validation, it's a question of expansion. Previously, I built a company with 100 software engineers and sold it to a Belgian company. So we know perfectly clear how to execute our plan. This was working. Perfect, Vera. And thank you for listening and hearing the pitches from our startups today at Time to Race. Don't forget to follow us on our website, timetorace.co, and our LinkedIn to stay in contact and keep yourself updated on our next application period. Also, investors, go ahead and connect with our founders. I can't wait to see the successful journeys of our startups. Hope you had a great time. Now let's move over to the breakout rooms where you can get to know the startups better and ask questions to the founders. And after that, let's get to know each other even better in the physical aftermingle in the Microsoft Reactor space in Stockholm. We are sending you the link for the breakout rooms in the chat below uh, and a link for registration for the aftermingle. See you soon.